you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo, what's up guys? It's x -Rays. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies video. Whatever you guys said is going to be day two or episode two of the unsolved Easter egg hunt. We went first through Nocturne and Tone. There wasn't really a lot. And now we're on Verrug. So we're going to go through all of the different little Easter eggs and stuff like that and some pretty interesting stuff. First of all, we already know about the turret that can be found under the fountain in the courtyard. If you guys didn't know about it, well, here it is. You guys can see it's actually pretty interesting. And I think you can interact with it when you're in no clip. Obviously, the next one's going to be the Easter egg on Verrug where you can flush the toilet three times to get a music easter egg it's pretty interesting now we're gonna have a little bit of gameplay in the background over some of the houses that can be found on the outside of the map which is pretty cool there wasn't really a lot of detail here which i thought was pretty kind of messed up but if you guys wanted to see the outside rim of what the map looks like you know obviously we have some backdrop we have some trees we have some little land and houses outside so i thought they were pretty interesting i wanted to show you guys what they look like there wasn't really anything inside them which kind of sucked but you know it's kind of the way that it is all right, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys is going to be all of the Illuminati code and just kind of messages that are found on Varag. It's actually pretty interesting because you can actually find this Illuminati code also on the giant in Black Ops 3. So they actually went back and they used some of the images that were on here, the Illuminati code, and they put it on the giant, which I thought was pretty cool. And then the other thing that can be found on this map, which is a pretty cool thing, is this butcher's knife that can be found in this kitchen. Now, it's also surrounded by blood. And if you connect this with a couple of other dummies that can be found around the map, one is hanging, the other one is just covered in knives it actually kind of gives you the picture or an idea that someone actually may have gotten bitten and they actually had to cut off a limb of their presumably in this case their left arm because you can see a lot of right hand blood prints on the map so that's pretty cool so it looks like someone actually was either bitten or something happened and they cut off their arm with that butcher's knife and you can actually see reference to this also on this wall so we're seeing a lot more illuminati code a lot of messages one of them that i found in particular that was really really cool is one that's called teddy is the biggest liar and then if you combine that with something that can be found on black ops 2 you'll find out what that reference is but first of all if we pan over a little bit more here you'll find the actual big one that says teddy is the biggest liar you'll see what looks like a zombie eating a hand or biting a hand and you'll also see like a saw so i think this is also again a reference to someone having to cut off their arm because they were bitten by a zombie and infected and then the actual reference that i wanted to make here with teddy is the biggest liar is going to be the connection between black ops 2 and Verruck. so actually in black ops 2 when you're playing nuketown zombies and you start hearing the radio messages and the voices of Richtofen, you can actually hear one of the radio messages where he's logging into his computer and the login username is Teddy and the password is, is the biggest liar. So it's actually pretty funny that they use the code of blood that was used in Verruck to kind of make a reference to the password and the username of Richtofen's login. So that is pretty much it. There's not really a lot more that can be found on Verruck. There's actually the last thing that I want to cover is a sign that you can find that just kind of has like a zombie kind of running around in place. I thought it was pretty hilarious. It can be found just above the outside of the map which is pretty cool just like above the power area and it's actually pretty funny so definitely that was the last one but there really wasn't anything big found on Verrug but overall it was a very fun map it's one of my favorite maps one of the creepiest ones a lot of screaming a lot of weird eerie noises on the map and maybe there's something else here that we missed but I just wanted to give you guys some theories some easter eggs that are found on here let me know if you guys have found anything else down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video of course make sure to leave a like and a favorite it does help out and it is very much appreciated if you are new, if you want to see more content like this in the future, Call of Duty Zombies, Easter egg hunts, live news and info, storyline information as it does come out, don't miss any video. Make sure to subscribe. If you guys want to keep talking zombies, if you found something, or if you just want to keep talking, Twitter is the best place to do so. And last but not least, if you guys want to, feel free to use my discount code OGXRays to get 10% off Control Freak and G Fuel. Both are awesome. Both are linked down below. I'm out. Peace.